Hey everyone, it's Pirate. Just wanted to do a quick pickups video. I am also going to be doing my six records, six thoughts. I have the next episode pretty much ready to go. I have my friend that picked out everything, so I have to just grab everything off my shelf and I'll be posting that eventually. But I just want to come on and do some updates for you, updates to the channel, updates to what I picked up. But our first new update is I'm going to be posting a video every two weeks. So that should uh, line up with everything that I had with my six records, six thoughts. And it's also going to line up with the podcast that I have done with Marikin. The next episode is out by the time you're watching this. I'll leave a link in the description below. It's a video I've done with Marikin. Her channel will be in the description below, but I'm uh, very excited. We actually had 22 views on that video, which is crazy exciting to me. Uh, but it's nice that we're able to come together and just talk music. So, uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about what I've picked up, and then I will talk about the next uh, thing that's going to be coming up. So, so we're just going to get started here. I uh, went to my local record shop last week, and I had about four records that I wanted to trade in. They're from artists I don't listen to anymore, and uh, for many reasons I don't support anymore. So, went into the local shop. Martin was wonderful there. Uh, I said, you know what, I want to do some trade-in. He wanted to give me some money that... The cash and I said no let's just do a trade and, you know I was thinking in my head you know whatever he can give me is whatever he can give me but I got two records and then there's one more I wanted to show as well but this trip is very fruitful because I got essentially two records that I have been looking for for quite some time the first is a picture disc from record store day this is uh Dio and friends stand up and shout for cancer and I'll leave it here for just a moment if you want to pause and try and guess every person on this Beautiful, beautiful picture disc. And don't let it fool you that it's picture disc. I've listened to this and it sounds amazing. I am very, very impressed with the quality of this picture disc. We'll flip over to the other side so you can get an idea of the track listing. There's Dio right there. So what this uh, has is three songs on the front covered by other artists and then three songs, the same songs on the back uh, done live by Dio himself and his band. Um, what I find interesting is they, they tried to keep the track listing the same, but on side B is actually a, a different track order. And don't let the scratches on, um, I, I have my HD on here. Don't let the scratches on the cover fool you. This is wonderful. I'm going to be getting a mo set of MoFi sleeves so I can put this in a nice MoFi sleeve. But I am very impressed and it had not been played before. The reason I could tell was it was... It took me a dickens of a time to get this out of the plastic. So for it being in there for so long and all of that, I am very, very happy to have this. The other thing I picked up is an album that I have wanted, another one I've wanted for quite some time. And I had been looking through the bins and, you know, came across it. And Matt from Too Many Records, shout out to Too Many Records. That's a great YouTube channel. Check the uh, description for a link to Matt's channel. But I would heard him in the back of my head saying, you better get this, you better get this, you better get this. So the next album I got was Pearl Jam's Backspacer. Now this is not, I don't want to say it's not a well-known, but it might be certainly one of their most underrated albums. I absolutely love this gatefold. Just take a moment to look at this gatefold. This is awesome. As I always like to do, I'll show the back. And thank you, thank you, thank you, Pearl Jam. You gave me a great reverse gatefold. I, I hate the gatefolds when they cut off here and it's two separate. You can kind of just tell the extension of these are the um, the pictures. And over here on this side where my hand is, is the track listing. And I'll, I'll leave the track listing here for just a second. You can pause if you want to read the tracks. What I love about this album is uh, it is a die cut album, much like Yield was. So when you take the picture sleeve out, you could leave it on the various pictures too. But um, when you take it out, it has you know just this wonderful picture. It's on standard black wax. And I'll let you see the wonderful, you know, the, the labels. You 
You know, I just noticed there's a little scratch on here, but it did not affect playback whatsoever. This is a beautiful pressing. I'm very happy with it. Probably needs a good cleaning, uh, but I am super, super happy to have this. Uh, there's a bunch over here that I know I need to do a cleaning session for, so hopefully I'm not too busy when it comes to that. What I also love about Pearl Jam is that they put a lot of thought into their packaging, at least when it comes to, say, the avocado record. Um, and just, I love the thoughtfulness on their packaging. I love the yield packaging. But what I love about this is it came with a full, just amazing lyric booklet. And that's what I love about um, my repressing of <laughs> the avocado album is because it came with this lyric book and it actually has full artwork of every single one of the the squares and it's it's just really thoughtful and I'm, I'm really happy with the way they packaged this a a plus you know i i don't like to give grades on <laughs> packaging and everything but to me pearl jam has always been class when it comes to their packaging The last record I want to show is one that was supposed to be a Christmas gift, but uh, me and my best friend decided we were going to delay for a little bit. So uh, what had happened is he had tried to get this pressing. Uh, this is a Target exclusive pressing. So he had tried to get this pressing at his store. It didn't work out. So we just exchanged money. I was, I was able to get it. It's Taylor Swift's Lover. Uh, if you've not been a fan of my channel or don't know me, you know how much I love Taylor Swift and her music. This is, I love the gatefold on this. And I will take a little bit of shade at Taylor, just joking shade. Just the back if you want to pause for the track list. There's no continuity with the reverse gatefold. But that's, that's just something on me. That is a me thing. That is not an artist thing. That is not... A dig at any of the packaging because I love the packaging. I love both the inner sleeves. I'll be getting MoFi sleeves for all this. There's a pretty picture of Taylor herself. And this is on very awesomely colored wax. This one's on like a cut. I call this cotton candy blue, like a teal. But when I put it up to the light, because I, I have, I'm sitting by my window here. And when I put it up to the light, it's actually more like a, a sky blue, like a very light powder blue. And then the second record is on, I've had pink records before, but I've not had this color. This is on like a bubblegum pink record. And what I've also noticed is while I'm looking through this, um, not every color pressing has like perfections, but I'm definitely noticing some little pellets that had gone through that are not exactly the same color. And I love it when that, I see that. Uh, for example, my church's uh, every open eye pressing has uh, a little bit of like black in there. It's supposed to be, you know, uh, they called it 100% virgin vinyl, but whatever. It, uh, you know, everything's not perfect, but I, I'm very happy with this, and it sounds awesome. This this album was a contender and easily in my top ten, easily top five of last year. So, yeah, Taylor Swift's lover. So that's going to do it for me for now. Just wanted to post a very quick video. Uh, thank you so very much, as always, for watching. And if you are a new watcher and you like what you've seen and you want a little bit more, uh, want to get to know me a little bit more, want to watch some more of my content, go ahead and subscribe. Comment down below what you've been listening to, what you've been picking up. I try my best to check out all the VC channels, but there's just not enough time in the day, so... If you leave me a comment with what you've been listening to, uh, I will definitely respond back. I try my best to respond back to everything uh, from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much for watching. And if you do leave a comment and a like, that actually helps. I, I know I'm not big into subscribers. I, I'm over well over 100 subscribers, which is shocking to me. So it truly really means a lot if you are watching. The next video will be the first part of Six Records, Six Thoughts. And if you don't know, you're a new subscriber here. Uh, six Records, Six Thoughts is where I basically 
pick out, have a friend pick out six records out of my collection. Uh, my collection is in one of those clacks from Ikea shelves, and there are six slots. So basically, I have them pick out six records from those slots, other than one, so essentially what's in there now. Now, I actually have some that are pulled out, ready to listen, so I don't include those, but what, what they'll do is they'll pick out six records from my record collection, and I pull them out based on their specific order, and I come on here and talk about them as a pre-listen, and then I give myself about two weeks. Again, I'm gonna be posting a video every two weeks. So I'll give myself two weeks to take a listen, and then I'll come back and give my thoughts on it. So that's what's going on with that. So the next video you will be seeing is part one of that. I don't know if it'll be dropped two weeks from now, but uh, I'd, I'd like to keep consistency with that. Uh, the two weeks is just where I'm at right now with my life. You know, I, I, you notice I took like a couple of months absence just because life got so insanely busy. So now that things are finally getting back on track, I'm able to post a little bit more. And that is about it. As I say at the end of everything I do, my podcast, my videos, everything I'm in, when the waters get rough, please, please, please keep on sailing. Even if you feel like no one else believes in you, I believe in you. There's always someone rooting for you in your corner. If you know, you're going through a lot, you're going through a lot of stuff, you know, even if you may not need to hear, hear this right now, you know, um, just know that I'm always rooting for you, even if it doesn't help right now. I just want to make sure that you, I care about you who's watching right now and what's going on in your life. So uh, I'm just rooting for you and wanting the best. And I, and that's about it. So see you in the next video. Take care.